Hello everybody. Um, I'm very pleased to uh, let you know that my latest book, Leaving Iran, My Persian Diaries, is now available on Amazon. Uh, I'm waiting for my copy to come. It should arrive today. Uh, so um, I, I wanted to read for you the beginning uh, passage of the book and um, hopefully you will be intrigued enough to to uh, to go and order your book from Amazon. Um, I will say that the year is 1978, August 12, and uh, this is how the book starts. Yesterday they declared martial law in Esfahan. This doesn't affect us very much since we live in Shiraz, but these days the situation in Iran is very tense. For a few months now, even in Shiraz, mobs of people have been pouring into the streets and breaking doors and windows and setting fire to various places. I'm not sure why they are doing this and why no one can stop them. It's not a safe situation at all. In Esfahan, a group of young people, some of whom were not even 18, started breaking windows and doors and setting fire to a part of the Shah Abbas Hotel. When the firefighters came they put the fire, to, to put the fire out, they set the fire truck on fire as well. Four of the troublemakers were killed, five were arrested, and 40 to 50 people got injured. That's why martial law was instituted. Now no one can be outside their homes from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. and there can be no gatherings where more than three people are present. There are some new laws about traveling too. I don't know what all this will lead to. Similar uprisings against the Shah's regime have happened in the past, but they have been crushed by the police and the military. Opponents are usually hunted down by the Savak, the secret police, and sometimes in prison. So as you can see, these are the, the days before, or a few months before the, um, uh, a revolution basically threw um, uh, out the regime of the Shah and, and uh, Iran became an Islamic Republic. Um, so, and these passages are from my diaries that I kept at the time. I was 13 and 14 and 15 and 16 when I wrote these diaries and uh, they start um, when I was in grade eight and uh, I complete grade nine in Iran and in grade 10 is when we uh, leave Iran because the situation is getting um, more difficult and we are worried because we are Baha'is and the, um, we knew that uh, with the advent of an Islamic regime uh, the lives and the livelihood of Baha'is would be in danger. So my parents uh, had already attempted to uh, immigrate or they had applied to immigrate to uh, Canada um, and uh, some of the work had been done and um, when we left Iran we completed the process and came to to uh, Vancouver at that time. Um, it's also a story of immigration uh, and the challenges that it has and the triumphs that it has, the advantages that it has, the difficulties that it has. And it tells the story of our family and how we, um, we sort of made the transition from uh, living in Iran to living in Vancouver, Canada. And uh, in the meantime, we spent um, six months in London. Um, and that was a very uh, challenging time for my family because there were so many uncertainties. The regime had just changed. Various things happened, which you will read about. And uh, yeah, th that was not an easy time for my parents or for my brother and I who were 14 and 12. Um, what do I hope you get from this book? Uh, the story of one family leaving uh, because they were afraid of 
religious persecution and they're um, sort of settling in a new home and um, um, starting in a way over in a new country, especially for my parents who were older. As children, we went to school and things were not as challenging, but for my parents, it was, and I talk about that in the book as well. So I won't tell you everything. Uh, so um, please uh, feel free to go to amazon.ca or .com or wherever you are and order the book. And if you do order it from Amazon, please uh, leave a review. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Have a great day.